The first step in this process is to mark the directory where you're going to store your one page tax forms. Mine's right here on my desktop. It's called tax forms and I have it open here. You can call it whatever you want and keep it wherever you want. First thing I'm going to do is copy this PDF file called directory path setter. I'm just going to copy it into this folder on my desktop. Then I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to click this button that says change or set directory path and it'll display the path there and then I'll just close it. I don't need that anymore. Path is now marked and what's going to happen is here's a, a tax form right here. I'll just open that up and this is kind of the name of it. It pulls from here and it's got a certain uh, uh, method to pulling that name so it can match up to the tax organizer. And if you notice the blue here, that's because my field highlighting is turned on and I did that purposely so I could demonstrate the point at which the fields get put on the, uh, the tax organizer. So I'm going to um, create this form, this tax page, and I'm going to go to edit, create tax page. I'll just click that and you'll see that file close. And if I go to the directory, you see the file here. All it does is it takes the name and saves it with that name so it can match them all up. So in this temporary uh, folder here, there's 199 tax forms. So you could do them one at a time the way I just showed you. Let me open one here and we'll do this one, Colorado Contributions. All you do is go edit, create tax page, it closes, and then you see it right there. Well, again, all it's doing is giving it the proper name so it can match this all up. So if I want to do these 199, it's going to take a long time to do them one at a time. So I'll show you how to do that using the action wizard in Acrobat Pro DC. And before it's before if you have Acrobat Pro prior to nine, I believe it's called a batch process and everything after that it's called an action. So just go to tools and search here for the action wizard. Here, let me close that and I'll show you. So tools, just search action. The action wizard will come up, click on that and click. You'll see batch tax organizers or batch tax forms. The tax organizers, you can process a whole directory of tax organizers. Right now we're dealing with the tax forms. So I'm gonna click batch tax forms and it allows you to, to um, select a folder. I already have it selected here. It's the temporary folder inside the tax forms folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and click start. Oh, actually, yeah, I've got to uh, select that folder. So desktop, tax forms, temp. That's where they're stored. I'll click OK. And you can see the files are opening and closing and saving. And up here in the blue part, you'll see the names being saved. I'm going to pause this video because it will take about five minutes to process these uh, 200 forms. So I'm going to pause that and I'll come back in a minute. So I just processed 199 files here and it's on the last one. So I'm going to close that. And I'll go to the, to the tax forms folder and you can see them all there. So next, I'm going to open a tax organizer. And remember, my field highlighting is turned on. So you can see that this document does not contain any fields. It's 33 pages. And it's really important that for every form in this customized tax organizer, that you have a tax form that's been saved and created using the create tax page process. 
So all I do now is I go to edit, create tax organizer, and I just click that. And you look in the bottom right corner, you'll see all the pages that are being processed. And I'm going to get a message in a second that tells me it's finished. 33 pages processed. I'll click OK and you probably saw the blue highlighting come on. And that's all the, uh, the fillable form fields in this tax organizer now. If I scroll through, you'll see them all on every page lined up perfectly. And if you want to do the entire directory of tax organizers, again, you would use the, the action wizard. And instead of batch tax forms, you just use batch tax organizers. I'm not going to show you that right now, but that's how you do that. So thanks for watching the video.